Welcome back to EU4 with the Mandate of Heaven. And um, yeah, it's looking really good now. It's really looking good. We've got our country back under control. The Ashikaga Separatists, they spawned. We defeated them. And now all that I have left are regular troops. I actually build up one more cavalry regiment and one more infantry. And um, it doesn't really matter too much because uh, Kikuchi has done us a huge favor. Because they, uh, they took two promises from the Shiba and then absolutely dismantled them. So they released Nanbu, uh, Usegi, and Ando. So they are all... We all have them basically under control. We're improving relations with all of them right now. And that means there's only... There's actually Shiba still hate us. But yeah, other than that, we, we've pretty much got them all under control. Um, and one thing I should also mention is that I asked Ainu to become our tributary. And they accepted. It was, uh, there was simply, a, you know, an option right here. Asked to become tributary. They uh, they were green, so I, I went for it. And they're now giving us... Um, They've given us manpower as tribute. I was actually hoping we could get points, um, but that wasn't really possible. For some reason, the amount is too small. It doesn't have... Oh, right, it doesn't have enough development. Ah, I see, okay. But we can get, gain money. 300 troops or 3 gold. It's really not worth all that much at the end of the day. Um, but do I want the manpower? You know what? I'm going to get the money. Three ducats, why not? We'll take the ducats. Uh, it doesn't really matter all that much. Now, other things I can do is demand an artifact. Um, this will increase our prestige by five on their expanse. Um, demand additional tribute, extra money. Okay, well, I could do that. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm happy that they're at least... That, you know, that not everyone is unhappy with us. So I'll, I'll keep them there for now. Yeah, but other than that, um, we can now finally go ahead and get the next technology now we have to pay a hefty price for this but it's worth it because that now means we can go for an idea group and that means I can go for exploration and since I've got so many points left uh, already saved up I will immediately uh, pick it all obviously the corruption doesn't help but you know that's fine and now we will go with the uh, yeah, native repression, we want to settle quickly. Now, why do I want to do this? Mm, actually, will I go for this? No uprisings. Mm, might even be better. No, I want to grow fast. Do I want to grow fast? Sure, I will grow fast. Now, um, let me... Uh, let me see where it is. There we are. So, basically, Discovering America would give us one extra objective. Actually, even Feudal Society we got, becoming a Shogun. Oh, that's very cool. So, basically, we're going to get, uh, we're going to now be able to discover America, and then we'll also be present on two continents as soon as we get our first colony. So, we'll get, yeah, a lot more splendor that we can then spend on all these perks, which is uh, really great. So, let's go ahead and do that. We have got our ships here. Um, let's actually... Let's actually send you guys here. Uh, let's actually send you here then. Uh, and then we'll split off three of you barks. Um, Alright, let's give me these three. That's fine. And I would like to get a explorer. Yes, he's even not that bad. He's actually of our dynasty. Look at that. A Hatakeyama. Well, he must be good then. We'll select a mission. Mm, uh, actually, yeah, explore. And I want you to explore the Northwest Pacific, yes, because obviously that's where we want to go. Um, but currently you are actually healing up, which I, I suppose is fine. And our light ships, you will just protect trade in Nippon. I will, um, I will probably build a bigger fleet, but uh, once we have repaid our loans, we still have three loans. Um, actually, one of them I can repay. So let's go ahead and do that because that will reduce our interest that we have to pay monthly so overall we're looking really good we're making a decent amount of money um these loans i will be able to repay i didn't have to go uh and declare bankruptcy which is fine um but anyway do i want to have a 3 to one air no so we'll go with someone else we are gaining legitimacy we have a diplomat or we have a, a colonist now should i colonize this i should be able to oh no it's actually too far away interesting Hmm. Oh well, that's fine then. So I don't have enough points to get... I definitely need overseas exploration then. Yeah. That will also give us extra prestige. 
All right, cool. We have improved relation. That was just a random mission I had there. What have we got now? Incorporate Shiba, colonize Cagayan. If I knew where that was, that's probably here in the Philippines. That's over here. Yeah. Now, what does that do? Owned population at least 400. Settler chance and global settler increase. Can I even reach that? I can't. I can. I would actually like to go for Manila instead, but I can't reach that. Um. Hmm. Right. Well. Yeah, fine. Fine, we'll go for it. Yeah, because it's going to take a while before we can do the other stuff. So let's, uh, let's at least send a settler there. That, that's fine. Yeah, why not? Uh, we can marry you. I will actually... Well, fine, I'll accept. Yeah, because it will actually cost a little bit of legitimacy, but we'll gain it back quicker in the long run. So overall, it's worth it. We're making a lot of money. And we've improved relation with Haichi, which was fine. That was just for the mission. And now, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and embargo you, if that is possible. Ish an embargo, there you go. Because you're the only rival we have right now. Yep. Oh, we're actually getting power objective because of the age objectives. I didn't know that. That's that's awesome. Okay, cool. Well, that makes it even better. And I'll, I guess we might as well send you an insult, right? Because why not? That should give us a power objection. Yes, it did. Good, we can go for another idea, that would be Overseas Exploration. Um... E well... Yeah. I'll go for that, yep. I'll go for that, that's fine. And then I'll probably go for the fourth one as well, for the uh, Global Settler Increase, because that's actually helping quite a bit. And our Explorer is... Exploring away. Oh, sweet. We can make a, or can t turn a few more states into, into, uh, or a few more territories into states. I don't think I will do that. I I'm happy with the setup we've got right now, and we're actually mm, improving relations with a lot of our subject so much that we are that we're almost ready to annex them, actually, which I think is really cool. Because once we got uh, 190, we can just go ahead. In fact, is that true? Can I annex you? No, we have to wait. A few more years. Okay, so local, mm, whatever. K. What are what are you? Uh, do you have an estate? You have. Okay, so we'll give me the manpower then. Fine. All right, I still have an idle diplomat. Because we're improving relations with our subjects already. Uh, anything else? Dynastic actions. Issue embargo. Request to share map. Ah, Ina would accept. Sure. That's cool. Uh, Northwest Pacific. Yep. Do I lose? Oh, I lost. Oh, I see. Well, it wasn't. It was share maps, not trade. Nah, okay, whatever. Oh, that's fine. I mean, even though we're actually exploring that right now. But oh well. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> Could have thought about that earlier. But yeah, so I've got one diplomat left. Um, why do I have four, by the way? Is it because I'm empire rank? Yes, shogunate gives me one, government rank one. Okay, and base two. Now, uh, let's have a look at our uh, interactions again. Because I think... Why can I not force this? It hasn't declared a single war. Huh, interesting. So I can convince someone to just kill himself, and it would give us five times their new ruler's monarch skills in monarch power. Ah, interesting. Well, how about you do that? Can't have more than 50% liberty desire. Alright, that makes sense. Okay, none of you have declared any wars after you uh, came into power. Change isolationism. Right. We didn't have any more incidents, which is fine. Our uh, colony has started growing. Sweet. It is Filipino right now, but that's going to change. 30 a year because of our repression policy. I probably would have to uh, put some people there now. Okay, let's go ahead and unmothball our uh, navy. I mean, it doesn't really cost much anyways. 
But I think what we should also do is maybe go for some advisors soon. I think I will do that. But yeah, let's uh, before we do that, let's make sure that we repay our loans though, because that's still number one priority. It's 200 gold. And then we're out of debt. Oh, that's that's going to be so nice. Alright, Andra has gone bankrupt. I don't really care. We can also build temples. I've built a few buildings so far. Um, you know, mostly in Etchu and uh, over here. Um, but I think that's fine, yeah. I don't know if I should get rid of this castle. I don't need this castle. There's really no point in having that. But still, I haven't fully united the islands yet. So I, I'm actually hesitant to delete it just yet. It doesn't cost that much. Um, let's actually see how much it costs exactly. Fort maintenance is 50. Man, it's actually quite a lot every month. If we had that every month. Uh, hmm. Still. No, you know what? It's fine. I'll get rid of it. It's, it's just worthless. Let's get rid of it. Yeah. I have enough of an economic power to, you know, build mercenaries if, if, uh, if I have to. So I think that's fine. We've got also some separatists about to rise up in Hitachi. Because for some reason, I couldn't increase the autonomy, right? Because it's already quite high. Oh well, we'll, we'll be able to deal with it. I'm pretty sure of that. Where's our, uh, our dude? Are you coming back? You are coming back, great. So then we can send you out again. Um, so let's go ahead. Explore Northwest Pacific Coast. Yes, and that should give us another, uh, another thing, right? Discover a nation with a capital... As a nation... Ah, uh, right. As a nation with a capital in Europe, Asia, and Africa, discover at least one province. So yeah, with this explorer, we should be able to get that. And then I would like to get a colony up in North America um, so that we can spawn the colonialism in our realm. That would be really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and repay a loan. And then we've got only this one loan left. How much money is that exactly? 116 gold. Okay, we'll be able to sell, uh, repay that. Yeah, we've got four years to repay it, so that's not really a big deal. Uh, so all I'm worried about now is maybe our colony failing, which will kind of suck, but uh, also not that big of a deal. Also, does it somewhere show my tributes? How much money I'm getting from them? Hmm. I can cancel that tributary now. Request to share maps. No, I will just lose prestige. There's no point. Yeah, there's no point. Literally. Yeah, I don't need your... Whatever. Okay, but we definitely need to deal with these rebels. Alright. So let's... Uh, let's not waste any time. And let's make our way to Itachi. And I guess... Yeah, we'll just have to build up a little bit of a military now. It's getting uh, ridiculous otherwise. So let's build two infantry here. We've got 8,000 men... Uh, I hope I hope that's going to be enough to deal with these rebels. I mean, there shouldn't be a whole lot of development here. It's only seven development. The the one time they uh, rose up here, they had a lot more development. So yeah. Anyway, explorers ready. Let's go ahead and let you explore. Wait, you did explore something over there? You didn't. Hmm. Right. Well, then we'll just go for something else. We still have not discovered. America then. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, so we're building true troops. Ready to join these folks. 8,000 men. And I'll probably just build even more. Actually, I will build a cannon now. Is that worth it? Probably not. No, at this point, the cannon is not really worth it. I only need it for sieges. And I don't have the money to, to really pay for a cannon. But we've got a drunken explorer. That means we <laughs> actually lose prestige. Well, great. One of our expedition members, our explorer of all people, managed to get himself into a dreadfully embarrassing situation when he overestimated his own capability of handling the fruity liquor the natives of Poso brew. Um, now, where is Poso? Isn't that already? I don't know where Poso is. But we might be able to ask you guys to become a tributary. No. Oh, we can. Yes. But they would say no because of distance between borders. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Because Ainu would have uh, 
yeah, Ainu just accepted. So that was kind of cool. Now, uh, we have enough relations with you that we could annex you. It's just that we need to wait another six years before that's possible. Okay, that's fine by me. Um, as for estates goes, uh, I'll go. Uh, hold on. I can seek the uh, support of the clergy. Demand some points. And I can... Uh, Call a diet and demand military support. Cool. And the merchants. If I demand this, they're gonna be so pissed off. Fine, we'll do it. So I can take up, that's fine. Glory Road. The lookout had reported signs of dwellings, but the ship had yet to see any natives. Until at last, at long last, a coastal village in West Timor were sighted. A small force disembarked and was hospitably received. Something that was attri attributed attributed the natives' fascination with the men who were taller in stature than them and bearded. Uh, the natives were beardless, and with some difficulty they managed to communicate that their myths and legends foretold of a time when their bearded gods would come from the sea to visit them. Food and gold were given, which indicate the province is prosperous and would be of great value to us. So West Timor gains one base tax. Well, that's awfully nice. Um, and, oh, natives have risen. Oh well. Um, we'll send you out to explore... East China. If they if they destroy the colony, which, in fact, they might do. Do they destroy the colony? I have no clue. They might not. They just. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's killed, which is fine, because then I will, uh, I'll get rid of that mission. It was stupid. Yeah, I shouldn't have even done it. Um, but I will probably colonize over here. Yeah, the Curials. There's only 500 men, and uh, it's kind of next to our tributary. So, yeah, that's kind of a cool thing. And we'll be able to... Well, I'm actually going to hold off on building any troops. I want to get this loan uh, repaid before I do anything else. Okay, we can gain one base tax in Kyoto and lose manpower for it, or money. I'll use the manpower for it, because that we don't really need at the moment. We're not going to go into a big war. But I want to repay that loan. I, I just hate being in debt. It, it's not a great feeling. So, yeah. Uh, who's, who are we privileged with here? Uh, this is Ainu. Okay, and our explorer should be ready. We'll send him off right again. Okay, there's not much we have left to explore. So I guess once uh, he's done with that, we'll just have him do something else. Okay, a talented and ambitious daughter. 533? But 553, five, I'll take her. Yep, totally. Ina, great. Welcome, Ina, to the Royal Court. Yes, she's she's really good. And she's 13 as well. Um, she's actually, yeah, she's just as good as uh, our Colonel Shogun. So I'll, I'll, I'll take her. Yeah, definitely. So uh, prestige is uh, growing monthly. And I should do something with my diplomat. I know that, but what? What am I going to do? I can improve relations with you. Now, it's a bit strange. Why isn't the macro builder improving relations with my subjects? Okay, now they are. You're just idle. Huh. Alright, that's fine. I don't need this diplomat right now. There's not really much I can do. Um, lose prestige and legitimacy. Uh, okay. Berate him for speaking against us in public. I don't want him to gain a little bit. Oh, no, no. We'll 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 take the we'll take the hit. That's fine. Although our legitimacy is a little bit low, too low, in fact. Ah, but it's fine. The, no one's gonna rise up, right? We almost got Sheba to uh, like us again, so that's nice. I can go for global. Nope, global settler increase. We'll do that. Yep. And then I will go ahead and go for other things. Growth of administration. Whew. All right. Well, I'm not going to read all of that. But monthly autonomy goes down. Global trade goes up. Or diplomatic relations. Don't need that. This would make the estates unhappy. And that would be unhappy either way. Uh, autonomy. 
Now, I'm actually not making that much from trade. So I'm actually... I think the autonomy would be worthwhile. Yeah, because we've got quite a lot of autonomy everywhere. So let us do that. Clergy... Actually... No, we'll go with the uh, merchants. I don't want to have too many estates unhappy at the same time. So now you're going to be unhappy. But that's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to deal with it. So where is our explorer? What is he ready to do? Probably nothing. Oh, he can uh, explore the East Chinese coast again. As if we haven't done that already. Can't even click on this one. Alright, so I hope that these uh, natives won't rise up immediately. That would be kind of annoying. In fact, do we actually get a bonus here? Because it is, yeah, it, it counts as adjacent, which I like. Because it's right next to our tributaries land. That's really cool. Alright, well, I guess I will uh, repay the loan. So we are free of loans, finally. And I will... I will build... Well, two troops, two infantry, and we'll send them to, uh... Actually, you know what? No, that's stupid. We'll just take these two, and we'll send you here to Ainu, so you can deal with that. And I will actually also send my navy up there, just so we know what's going on. Perfect. So you have this under control. Natives might rise up, but if they do, we'll just crush them, and then we can send you onto the boats to do some other cool things. Nanbu wants, uh... Uh, no, I will decline that. Because Nanbu doesn't really matter. They're so small, uh, they, they have no power. But yeah, so we've got a country under control, which is really nice. Now we're working on getting the colonialism institution. And we don't really have much time. It's really, we're kind of running out of time there. So we gotta got to act quickly. Um, but I think we, we have a chance of doing that. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. And I'll be back next time with some more uh, Hatakayama clan who uh, hopefully soon turns into Japan.